The mountain pygmy possum lives in the high country of Victoria and New South Wales. Australia is not usually associated with alpine or, or snow species. So they're really unique in that way. They're one of the few hibernating animals. For some of our traditional owners, they're actually a very important totem species. So knowing that that species is still around for them is really important culturally. Where we are here today, this is a typical basalt boulder field where they live. Boulder fields are important habitat for the mountain pygmy possum because they provide protective cover from things like predators. But also the bogon moth come here and hang around in the boulder fields and that's one of their main food sources. For me as an ecologist working on this species, it is always a fear that, you know, one day I'll come back to do the monitoring work and they're just not here. There are plenty of factors that I guess are working against the possums, whether it be issues relating to climate change or food issues, and there's been plenty of habitat lost in the past. And the pygmy possums restricted to high elevation areas. So that means there's only small areas of habitat in the first place. But other things such as roads has really led to quite a lot of habitat fragmentation. So some of the things we've done over the years has been to build tunnels under the roads and we've shown that the, the possums will use those tunnels, which is terrific. But we can also look at actually recreating or supplementing boulder field habitat. Historically, the quarry was used to provide rock for building the Great Alpine Road and in doing so, uh, gaps were created in the pygmy possum habitat and so this quarry job is all about reinstating those corridors. We sourced rock from Mount Hotham and we've carted it up onto site using a large crane. The crane then drops the boulders um, into corridors between the existing boulder fields. This quarry project is a three-stage project. Initially, we surveyed uh, the area for weeds and removed them. Uh, then the rocks were brought in and placed and the third stage will be the planting of 4,000 food plants to provide extra food sources for our possums. The rocks provide the protection and the plants are the additional protection but also the food. And that habitat and those corridors adds to our other project, the Little Higginbotham Tunnel. So we're really continuing those habitats right across this slope. People love to be associated with such an iconic animal, so the work we do here helps to protect the possum and also connect people to the mountain. The more we can do for the species, the better, and the restoration works aim to improve the resilience of these populations by connecting habitat and providing alternative food resources. We essentially stop the mountain just to restore the habitat for the mountain pygmy possum. For a week, we had trucks coming and going, carrying rocks to the site. We had traffic management and it was a major event. When you have a species with such a limited distribution, each and every rock counts. It's been a fantastic opportunity to work with so many different project partners, working together towards one goal, to ensure that the mountain pygmy possum will always be there.